Hello everyone, welcome to Matplotlib session. So in this Matplotlib, we'll be learning towards the things with the visualizations, the deeply, where we can help out the Matplotlib. This is a Matplotlib or library. With the help of this particular library, we can do a proper your graphically visualization in a python in your data science or the, you can work with directly uh whatever the things are there directly we can work on that and we can use it in this purpose so basically the matplotlib is used for that particular purpose of visualization let's move to understand the main thing in a matplotlib like how and what is the meaning of that so uh, the first thing remember it is a homogeneous array of tools so uh, whenever we use this this is used for homogeneous purpose as well as this is the plotting library so it is a plotting library also so in a pandas also uh, we do some plottings like your box plots pi plots so we just just of that we used it now the real time uh, work with the matplotlib will use all those libraries in web and we can visualize at many things what we wanted so the main important thing in matplot is used an object oriented or api it means it is work on the object as well as so in other libraries we are not working with the object but here we can work with the object so if you take as a simply in a matplotlib it is just a graphing library for python it has a homogeneous like how we can do it with that we can go with the 3d graphs as well with the help of matplotlib library we can plot our graphs with the help of 3d as well we can do lots of things like in this uh, so in a further session we'll be learning that what is the applications how it will be work in the real time so we'll discuss in the uh, further sessions deeply in the math plot so for now just to uh, understand that whenever we use this math plot library it is used for plotting library homogeneous array as well as by working with the object oriented and the main important thing this library is used for the plotting purpose like we are using for the plotting as well as the visualization purpose this is the main thing what we do in the matplot to visualize the thing in that so for that we have to import it right how we are importing for the other thing so whenever we import this matplotlib how we will import it import matplotlib dot pyplot we call pyplot as plt this is alias name pyplot means whenever we use matplot we are going with the pyplot so that uh, key the plotting will be the proper the python plotting so that is our pyplot so this is how we are using towards to the plotting i hope you are understanding that uh, what is the things of matplot in a theoretical aspect let's move to understand uh, practically like how we have to import and how we'll use the basic plot with the help of your map plot so now let's jump to the jupyter notebook to understand that so let's move to importing part to matplotlib so import matplotlib dot pyplot dot pyplot as plt so this will be there and then we need a numpy as well so import numpy as np we just importing is done which run properly just see the basic plot with that i'm going with the data data equals to np dot line space you can take anything that's your risk line space i'm taking it to create it 0 comma 2 start np dot by comma 50 i'm taking some values on that by comma 50 and then i'm going with the plots now directly plt dot plt already we take a alias name then your plot and then moving to the passing the values what we take in that is your data data comma your np dot sin s i n sin and then the pass the data so we pass the data this is without the first uh, data array index will be used in the x axis because we need to use that particular axis now you want to show it you can print it and you can use the show method as well so plt dot 
so that will be lens space so you can observe it it comes the graph so this is how we are using a mat plot in a visualization here we just go with the normal we create the data here we can use the data sets also how we are doing it csv so those thing in a deeply we are learning from the uh, next session so in the next session we'll be seeing how suppose in this we already have the pie map plot but suppose we don't have this map plot features in your system and how we have to insert it how you have to install it let's move to the next session to understand that how we have to working in the command from or the command cell to import it and then how to use it properly in the visualization purpose thank you